Hi, this is Dr. Darren Schmidt at the Nutritional Healing Center in Ann Arbor. And this video is how to eliminate chronic or acute viruses. And the way you do that is with the antiviral diet. And I put that in the description box below this. And here's how it works. There are um, foods that have arginine in them. And that arginine feeds viruses. And then there are foods with lysine. And lysine kills viruses. So if you have a food that has more arginine and less lysine... Th that food will feed a virus. If you have a food that has more lysine than arginine, it'll kill the virus. So it has to do with the ratio between these two. So you'll see in the antiviral diet that there are a lot of nuts and seeds listed to avoid because they're filled with arginine. There's three vegetables. There's onions, there's Brussels sprouts, and there's another one. I forgot what it is right now, but you can read it. Um, and so that's that's what it comes down to. And this is more important than any supplements, herbs, drugs. This is extremely powerful. So I'll just give you a, a story real quick. I had a woman, this is um, back in like 2008, maybe 2007. And she was very sensitive uh, with her stomach. She couldn't take any pills. And she also had uh, dizziness and uh, that would sometimes turn into vertigo. So the dizziness is sort of being off balance. But the vertigo is like the earth is flipping you upside down. And um, so I gave her, the, I found a virus in her stomach and in her ears. And like I said, she couldn't take my pills. I put her on the antiviral diet. And within four months, she was extremely happy. Her symptoms were gone. She was well. She was better. It was fantastic. And then uh, she stopped coming in. And I ran into her a couple years later at the grocery store. And she said she's still doing the diet. And she's still doing well and her symptoms did not come back. Now we use this all the time and virus, viruses can cause all kinds of uh, weird symptoms, skin rashes, fatigue, they can be stuck in an organ causing the organ to cause the symptoms that those organs cause. And, um, but we get people better with this antiviral diet quite often. So we're a big fan of this. All right, so if you have a, a virus, um, whether it's acute or chronic, you, can, you should do this antiviral diet. And if you, feel, if you feel like you're not getting to the cause of your fatigue or depression or something like that, and you think it might be a virus, you can do blood tests. And um, they can run panels for these strange viruses that are... Um, they're actually called retroviruses. And what these do is that they stay in your body for a long period of time and they cause trouble during the whole time. So Epstein-Barr virus is an example of that. Cytomegalovirus is another example of that. So those do really, they go away with this antiviral diet. And it takes several months. And one of the kickers about viruses, they live in your cells. Whereas bacteria and fungus live around your cells. And parasites live around your cells. Viruses are in your cells. So if you're on um, antiviral pills like supplements, herbs, and you're doing the antiviral diet, and let's say the virus is in your heart or in your brain or in your liver. It may take six months or even like over a year. But um, this is important. And of course, avoiding sugar. Okay? Sugar feeds all the bugs, all the viruses, bacteria, fungus, and parasites. Okay, so there it is. Now I have it.